वेलकम फ्रेंड्स आई एम सुमित बासु टू टू वी सेल इंट्रोड्यूस टेक्नोमेट्री हेयर इज द प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ टेक्नोमेट्री इन हाउ टू रिमेम्बर टेक्नोमेट्रिक फॉर्मूला दैट वी सेल डिस्कस टूडे but important uh, for the beginner and here is the topic how to remember trigonometric expressions this is only for the students who are going on to learn trigonometry for the first time this trick is very helpful and i think you all will be able to understand and can manage the trigonometric formula and first time just practice this and later on you all will be accustomed with this type of formula then there will be no need of this but still the trick is very important here is the relations between the angles and the ratio of two sides actually trigonometry means that is the relations between the angles and the ratio of the two sides actually trigonometry relates this and this is very interesting in maths very very exciting of a uh, it is generally in a right angle triangle of a right angle triangle so that must be a right angle uh in the triangle otherwise the relations among the various angles and the sides not possible so we must see a look so how to remember the trigonometric expressions and how and what are the relations and to do we must have to imagine a right angle triangle all time and before uh, this uh, we ma uh, will sell uh, generally want to tell that the angles of a triangle are represented by special symbols you must learn this for the beginner this is very easy but those who are first time going coming so the angles of a triangle represented by the symbols i mean to say i mean to say that special symbols this is alpha look right alpha it is beta beta gamma not the uh, there is theta alpha beta theta and also there is Uh, one more common that is phi phi is like that just you will cross out the circle phi and uh, okay etc other angles also symbols are used but for the beginner you must understand that the alpha beta theta and phi these uh, symbols are often used in trigonometry in order to represent the different angles anyway now see so we must have a right angle triangle in our mind so let a b c let a b c is a right angle triangle and at angle b equal to 90 degree so let us draw angle abc triangle abc that is angle a b c and let angle it is 90 degree Uh, it is already told 
that angle B equal to 90 degree and let uh, angle C that means angle ACB let us represent you can also assign other symbol also it is theta equal to theta okay so angle ACB equal to theta so this is theta now AC is the hypotenuse and angle okay because it is opposite to right angle so it is hypotenuse so and angle uh, side AB is the perpendicular uh, how to determine uh, the angle take the opposite side is always perpendicular the angle C and the, ang the angle you generally consider then the side opposite to that is always perpendicular if you take angle BAC I mean to say angle A then BC is the perpendicular anyway uh, now this is the video and you must remember the rhyme three lines okay and this is very helpful just first line is some people have the second line is curly brown hairs and third line is turn permanently black permanently black so these three lines of the rhyme that some people have curly brown hair turned permanently black with the help of these three lines you can easily remember okay the trigonometric expressions what are those first expression of trigonometry is like that let us consider the first line that some people have look so line one some people have so s stands for sign not seen sign then it is for P stands for a people perpendicular and H of have is hypotenuse. So sine theta not sin theta sine theta equal to so S stands for sine. Write down sine then angle theta suppose is equal to divide this okay perpendicular always divide the second term perpendicular by hypo. So you have learned it the first thing sine then second line is curly brown here here so this is cosine or cosine when cos and then it is b stands for base and again h for hypo so cos theta cosine is written as cos theta so it stands for cos and then base brown base and here h is hypo so you have learned sin theta and cos theta sin theta is perpendicular hypo because people have and second line brown hair so base by hypo third line turn t stands for tan theta we shall learn just now permanently black so this is tan then again p of the second word is perpendicular and the third black is base so we can write what not tan theta because tan means tan theta is equal to 
what to write tan theta equal to perpendicular by black means base so we have learned three first in our life the sin theta cos theta tan theta if you can remember these three sin theta cos theta tan theta we can now learn the further three expression uh, by taking the respective reciprocals we will get the another three expressions taking the reciprocal of sin theta cos theta and tan theta now let's see how to do this and now in order to do this further we can see what look further we can see look better write down there Mm, sin theta cos theta see sin the reciprocal of sin theta this says take is cosec theta so this is not related with the rhymes but first you learn the rhyme and being so you write sin theta cos theta tan theta from sin theta so you have learned sin theta take the reciprocal of sin theta that will be cosec theta that will be cosec theta cosec theta so reciprocal is hypo by perpendicular if you can remember sin theta it's not difficult to remember the cosec theta okay then reciprocal of cos theta is sec theta sec theta so it will be just to reverse this hypo by base so from the rhyme it follows indirectly and reciprocal of tan theta is cot theta cot theta it will be what base by perpendicular by perpendicular so i think you have followed it so first from the rhyme you remember sin theta cos theta tan theta and thereby uh, you have to learn what uh, that's all uh, cosec theta sec theta cot theta we can also learn further some extension of this for your help uh, from this we can proceed further so sin theta cosec theta cos theta sec theta they are reciprocal to each other and tan theta cot theta so you have learned sin cos tan and now see now what is coming to form the first line on the right hand side you see what uh, you can uh, easily understand what is for coming in the next line if you multiply sin theta cos theta we shall get one uh, now let's see for in the right hand side more so that you can see okay now let us write down such now we will multiply the 2 sin theta and cosec theta see if you multiply then perpendicular perpendicular hyperbole will cancel and it will come 1 ok hmm, cancel then second similarly cos theta and sec theta cos theta and sec theta equal to 1 do the same and finally tan theta cot theta equal to what 1 ok also see from sin theta cos theta it is very easy but it is very helpful whenever you shall go to work out the sums that from this sin theta we can write on 1 by cos theta because they are reciprocal to each other you know reciprocal means when two terms are multiplied they give product equal to 1 and now cosec theta equal to 1 by sin theta it follow from that line first line similarly in the second line we can write down which is cosec theta equal to sin theta so 
cos theta equal to 1 by sec theta and sec theta equal to sec theta equal to 1 by cos theta no problem and finally tan theta equal to one by cot theta and cot theta equal to one by ten theta. So from the first you have to learn the rhyme then sine cos tan and from sine then cosec cos to sec tan to cot then other relationships also see uh, one more uh, formula you can learn also because tan theta equal to we know what see from this tan theta equal to permanently black so perpendicular by base you already learned it perpendicular by base it you already learned this from the rhyme now we can if you divide both denominator and numerator denominator and numerator by hypotenuse by hypo numerator by hypo as well as the denominator by hypo very interesting result you get there in the numerator base by hypo means what you know already sign theta see see uh, at the top from the rhyme we followed the sine theta equal to perpendicular by hypo so we can write down sine theta here okay so tan theta equal to we can write down sin theta by cos theta one more one more relation cot theta equal to what you know from the rhyme cot theta equal to c this is a reciprocal of tan theta so we take from the above line, the reciprocal the base by perpendicular, or you can take directly, because, uh, but still you do it, and now you can divide it by the hypo numerator denominator. By hypo, you get the answer, and now we we'll see what is. So cot theta equal to cos theta because in from the rhyme you see it is cos theta and the denominator is from the rhyme it follow the sin theta sin theta okay from the rhyme so sin theta so we can conclude now but so tan theta equal to tan theta equal to sin theta by cos theta and very helpful formula and cot theta equal to reciprocal cos theta by sin theta so you just remember it step by step so the this is the finalization of this video almost so from the beginning first learn the what rhyme then sin theta cos theta tan theta from there take the reciprocal you will get all of this like i am again showing you the final touch of this video uh, we'll see first remember the rhyme okay some people so first learn these lines from sin theta Okay, then cosec theta, we take, then cos theta from the second line, then sec theta, and then third line, tan theta to cot theta. And now multiply the first, second, third line, you will get the following lines, sin theta cosec theta equal to 1, cos theta sec theta equal to 1, okay, so you have learned this from the rhyme then taking reciprocal you get this and multiplying we get what the all 
sin theta cos theta equal to 1 cos theta sec theta equal to 1 and tan theta cot theta equal to 1 ok so I think it is very very helpful to all so practice it will be helpful to all thank you very much